So I just want to do two quick videos just to show you two products that are being sent by Sun UV. One is this Sun UV UV and LED steriliser. So I've never tried one of these before. Uh, I've heard a lot about them um, and I like it. I think it's really, really good. Um, here's your LED lights. The base is obviously mirrored so it reflects the light. When the UV is being on, this is to sort of prop your tools in. But when it's LED is being on, this turns pink. So I'll give you a quick demonstration. Sterilizing. So you hold that in and this will flash for um, three minutes. And when it's done, it tells you that it's done. So as, it, as the time goes on, obviously it works its way around. You can see, you press it down. You see the light, and there you go, it's turned that pink. So it shows that the UV um, and LED is working. So that's that one. Sun UV Sun 4 lamp. It's a smart nail lamp. Excuse the colour of it. It is well used. So you've got your 10 seconds, your 30, 60, and your low heat metal double power, for, which is great for hard gel. It prevents the heat spark if you use this low power mode. And you can see. See inside the lights go all the way round because they go right to the edge. You put your hand in, there's an automatic sensor. And because the lights go all the way round, it easily cures your thumb. As you can see, that's curing my thumb. And there's your timer on the top. So if you just pop your hand in straight away, it will count up from zero. Well then if you press your buttons it will count down from either 99, 60, 30 or 10. Yeah, overall, absolutely love these products. Uh, and there's the little guides in there for your client's fingers. So you can sit in between those guides. And yeah, there you go. Overall, I'm really happy with these products and I would highly recommend them. Um, I will leave the links in the description box if you're interested. So on with this design now, I've applied my CJP Clear Tips, uh, done all my natural nail prep, applied my dehydrator and acid primer and then coming in with crystal glass using my big boy brush, just applying a nice thin base layer to all the nails. Just so I've got a nice smooth base to work on and it also gives me something to file back to when my client comes back in for a redesign. So then on this nail I'm applying a mixture of a mixed CJP bubble gum with Flamingo, Touch of Magenta, Snow White and Amore. So I'm applying that at the tip and just fading that back and letting that set a bit before I come in with my pink colour. So then on this nail I'm doing a reverse smile line. The powder I'm using is a more that I mixed with some Glitterate Reflections Glitter just to give it a really gorgeous shimmer. So I apply that in the reverse method, blend the back of the bead into that nail and then shape the smile line with the tip of my brush. So you want to make sure you've got your wall all the way around uh, from side wall to side wall so you've got something to butt your colour up to. And when I'm happy with that, I come in with my cuticle bead. So apply it close to the cuticle but not touching it. Tilt your client's finger down and then get your brush behind that bead. Push it out to each side and then blend the top of the bead in with your previous application. I have built my apex with this powder as well, so check from your side view to make sure your apex is in the right place. 
and then always add a little bit more if you need to. So then back to this finger, so I apply a small bead of the Amour in the centre and blend that up into the pink and then apply my cuticle bead. Again, pushing it out to one side, blending up the top and then push out the other side and blend that top, the top of that bead up. So you've got your nice flawless blend. And I find these glittery cover powders really help with a perfect blend. So on this nail, I'm just applying a thin wash of the pink colour. And then I dip into crystal glass and then pick up um, a pink glitter, which is the pink from the Glitter Fairy Indian Summer Collection. Uh, it's at, no, I'm lying. It's the pink and the orange. So I dipped into both um, of those powders and then just put that straight onto the nail. Absolutely love these powders. And I'll leave um, a link to all the products that I use in the description box for you. So I just use really small beads of clear to pick up the glitter so I'm not adding too much bulk. And then I just use the tip of my brush to really push and place that glitter where I want it to be. And you get it nice and neat in your cuticle area. And applying that wash of colour behind helps with this as well, any glitter really. If you apply a similar colour underneath, it really helps with a neat cuticle area. So then I come back and cap this nail in crystal glass, applying quite a large bead at the cuticle. Getting that nice and flush at your cuticle area, getting your brush behind it, making sure there's no step. And then walk the rest of that bead down the nail with the belly of your brush. Again, just checking from all angles, looking down the barrel of the nail and the side view to make sure it's all nice and even and that your apex is in the right place. And just smooth over that nail with your brush. Find if you get your application nice and neat, you, you don't have to do as much filing. You can add a bit more if you need to, to build up your apex. And then cap this glitter nail. And this nail and the thumb are faded, so I just apply that pink and then turn my brush round and fade it back while it's still nice and wet. Make sure you fade it really well so there's no harsh line where the pink ends. So then come back and apply my Amour and Glitter mix, just applying a first bead in the middle and just blending that up, just blending the top of it and blend the back of that bead into the nail and then come in with your cuticle bead. Again, just making sure you blend the top of the bead rather than pulling up the whole bead. So when I'm happy with that blend, then come in with some of the Glitter Fairy Glitter again, just applying it diagonally, 
putting it in the center and then dragging it out um, to either side. And then just use the tip of my brush to push that glitter where I want it. And then just apply a little bit of clear and then I'm coming in with some hexagon shapes in pink and orange. These are just off eBay, they're really cheap glitter that you can buy, just the little shapes. And then come in with my 80 grit file from the nail and beauty link and just refine that smile line. So I'm keeping my file at a 90 degree angle, working from side to side, really creating that nice crisp wall. Remove the dust and then come in with that pink mix again. Um, just applying it onto the nail and then pushing it round to both sides. Don't worry if you go over the smile line, if you filed it nice and crisp, this will be revealed when you come to file at the end. So on to my filing technique, so start off refining and contouring those side walls, making sure they're nice and neat and crisp. Sharpen that free edge, make sure it's nice and straight, and just come underneath to make sure there's no little bits. Then start off on one side wall, contour it round, come round your cuticle and then up the other side wall. Uh, and then down the barrel of the nail, holding your file flat on top of that nail. And then going in sort of a horseshoe from one side, working round to the other side. And just checking angles and apex just to make sure they're in the right place. Look down the nail to make sure it's all even, make sure the product's all even, there's no lumps or bumps. And then when I'm happy with my filing, I just come in with a white block just to smooth over that nail. And the same filing technique on every finger.
then remove all the dust, wipe over with acetone, and then I come in with my CJP Tech Free Top Gloss, just floating a nice thin layer um, over the nails, and then cure in my Sun UV lamp that I showed you at the start of this video for 60 seconds. And when that comes out of the lamp, just give it a minute to cool before you apply your cuticle oil, otherwise it can dull the shine. And here's your finished look. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.